the value of architecture is practically impossible to assess. However, one online publication, Baunetz, does publish ratings for German and foreign architectural offices based on the amount of trade press they've received. From its listings, it's clear that while the Bauhaus may be history, its principles still have considerable influence. For many years now, Germany has been best known for engineering, load-bearing construction and solar technology for the down-to-earth side of architecture, rather than signature design. Germany has a reputation for reliability, and that draws in a lot of business internationally. The top Germans in the international rankings are Gerkan Marg and partners. The bureau is very big in German terms, with over 500 staff. GMP operates worldwide, designing and building museums, stadiums, and entire cities, like Lingang in China. The architects pride themselves on having a very distinct aesthetic. Our basic philosophy is reducing function down to what is absolutely necessary. In all of our buildings, we always pare things down to the absolute essentials. But Baunetz's nationwide rankings are topped by Berlin-based Barco Leibinger architects. Regina Leibinger and Frank Barco are very imaginative and interdisciplinary in their approach, very much in keeping with the Bauhaus tradition. And they're no exception there. Regina Leibinger believes German architecture has many strengths. German architecture offices are very detail-oriented and very advanced in their use of engineering technology. They work closely with engineers. For example, our office always works very closely with innovative engineers developing innovative concepts. That happens on a regular basis here in Germany. But architects here don't necessarily stand out in terms of bold design, partly because there aren't enough clients in the world who want that. But Germans are more open in this respect than in other countries. This tower block is a stroke of luck for Berlin, which is otherwise rather averse to high-rise architecture. It's a company headquarters built by Barco Leibinger in the capital's new Europa City development. Number two in Germany, the Stab Architects Office. The company has gained a reputation for building museums, often in historical surroundings, like the Münster Landesmuseum. Stab structures fit in. They're conspicuously inconspicuous. Take, for example, the restoration workshops of the Prussian Palaces and Gardens Foundation in Potsdam, in the historical heart of the city. We're interested in buildings that have their own contemporary aesthetic, but that also create a link to the place or the history of the place. In that way, they're more reserved than a striking brand new construction would be, which some people might like to see in such places. For the Ahrenshoop Kunstmuseum on the Baltic coast, Stab has achieved a synthesis of distinctive design and understatement. The art gallery's elegant metal cladding will change its color over time, just like the thatched roofs of the northern German farmhouses around it. It evolved in close cooperation with specialists. Our strengths lie in the precision of the finish, or in the detailed solutions we find, including technical solutions. It's a cliché, but we Germans are definitely out front in that respect. However, there are very few young architects represented in the Baunetz rankings. In Germany, many clients are loath to take risks. They're not courageous enough to try out new things, to explore new avenues, to experiment. Young architects are probably more suited to that kind of process because they're still hungry. I think it's a hard profession. It's quite exploitative. Nevertheless, I would advise all young architects, and I tell my students that too, to become self-employed if they have the courage, the strength and the enthusiasm to do that. Then they'll make it.